Hey guys, what's up? I got another episode of Snipe and Destroy. And uh, I heard in comments that you guys kind of wanted uh, more solo play. So, here we go. This is solo play. I don't got any teammates. And I also prestige recently, so I kind of got screwed over on the classes too. Um, this means that I don't have any attachments on my bear or magnum. I don't have claymores. And, uh, you know, I'm just a little level. But I'm making my, uh, my way up through the ranks on this double XP that I love and uh, here in the beginning we see a class play a very well executed jump onto the chair onto the chair onto the chair up the barrels and then on top of the bow house I got up there very quickly because I knew that I had the skill to climb chairs and I knew if I got up there quickly I could defend B well for my team and they would only have to worry about A but then I got bored, so I dropped down, and here we see some more embarrassment. And I should have warned you, this first round is kind of uh, pathetic. So I get really confused with all the like, gunfire and last stand and whatnot. So I'm chilling out behind here, and this kid all of a sudden just like stands up out of nowhere. I pistol whip him, and I'm still confused, and I'm just like looking around, and I get wicked lucky here, because this kid just absolutely sucks dick. But then um, I make the mistake of, you know, just kind of chilling out here. And you'll see, uh, you know, when you're sniper, you don't, if you don't know if an area is safe or not, you really shouldn't be charging into it with your sniper, or at all for that matter. And really, you don't want to do that no matter what kind of class you're using. But you can see I get killed because I was standing out in the open in a hot fire zone where enemies were bound to look. And uh, I took the liberty of speeding this up because my teammates are kind of boring to watch. And they're not very good. And the kid gets spoon fed his last kill here. So we'll see that in a couple seconds. And he's running around with that intervention FMJ throwing knife. And he comes in here with a tac knife and time limit re oh, he didn't get the last kill. I oh yeah, that's right. They were both like playing like retards and just like not not planting any bombs. So I hear I remember that those two kids rushed B, so I'm gonna try and pick him off and uh you know, my teammate blocks me, but I get here anyway. And I look down, I see him, pick him off, get the collateral hit marker, but finish it up real nice. And I start getting sniped at by some kid. I don't know where he is. So I'm just going to, uh, you know, uh, wait, no. I got sniped, but I duck down, and then I see this kid to my right. Throw a Semtex. Take his Famas. Don't be scared to pick up other kids' guns. Because, uh, as you can see, it saved me the kill there. And then I just pick up my Barret again after I'm done with, after I'm done with the kill. So, you know, I'm just checking some stuns, because last time I came here, I got kind of lucky, and I don't want to rely on luck again. So, you know, I'm trying to take out my pistol, because I think someone might come after me, but the round ends, and I'm very uh, happy for that. And uh, here we see just uh, some lucky luck by my teammate, who was still in our spawn after like 30 seconds of gameplay for some reason, I don't know why. But, uh, I, you see these little spins I do, it's an old tactic that people have been using for years. That should have hit him. But, uh, yeah, people use it a lot. And, uh, it, it just keeps your fingers, like, uh, moving, your thumbs to aim. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't know how to describe it. It keeps them not, like, it keep, doesn't really keep them warmed up, but it, uh, I don't know, makes them twitchy. So you're able to quickly aim and more accurately aim. I also double tap Y and double crouch a lot with tactical on uh, just to keep my thumb moving. But uh, as you saw there earlier I had my pistol out at close range which is what you should always be doing because having your sniper out at a knife fight is really stupid especially in this game where uh, the knives are almost as long distance as the snipers and the shotguns are longer distance than the snipers so yeah, you gotta watch out for that kind of close range bull crap that you can get into if you have your sniper out. So here we go. We're on clutch round, and uh, I'm headed over to B, doing that little circle thing again. That's getting really annoying. But uh, I'm just kind of taking it slow. You know, I don't want to be the guy that rushes up there and gets killed. I want to be the guy that sits back and supports my teammates. That's really the sniper's main job. I can understand if you want to get flashy kills, but please do not do that in my search lobby. Get out and go play 
with your friends in a quickscope lobby or something. So I'm checking out A, mainly uh, in the middle of the map too. See if I can catch anyone running. And uh, I think I do eventually. But uh, first I got some crappy sniping. I don't know what was going on there. And uh, I'm running up here. I see him again. More crappy sniping. This is really embarrassing. But then eventually I get the sweetest dome rock I've ever seen in my life. It was just beautiful. And we get some more teammate action. I did not speed this one up because I do not think it's that long. And also, you know, my teammate isn't too bad. So, you can see some tactics that other people use. I don't know, this guy likes to constantly move, which is a good tactic for anyone that isn't a sniper. Although I do recommend that snipers do not stay in the same spot for very long because uh, kids like to rush the snipers because they know they are, that snipers are easy kills. But, uh, eventually uh, we end up losing this round and that's probably because this kid is terrible and it's left up to the other kid to try and clutch but he gets put into a nasty situation uh, as you often do in 1v1s because uh, the outcome of 1v1s in this game is almost entirely luck of who sees who first there's like a tiny bit of skill in it in search and destroy I can understand 1v1s like uh, game battles but uh, when you're in a search and destroy match and you're left down to a one-on-one -on -one clutch, it's almost never uh, skill related. And uh, I don't know what this kid's doing, but uh, it appears to be a very bold strategy. Let's see if it pays off. Shooting the car and the truck in the sky and he almost dies and the round ends. That was very exciting. I don't know why I didn't speed that crap up. <laughs> Alright, well, here I got my kill streaks. You know, I'm just gonna try and uh, sit back, point them out, and let them finish the round for me, because that's usually what happens in this good old COD mod game. Jews die. And uh, I, I don't know what happened. I think I got Jewed out of a care package here, because I had a UAV, and then I had a Predator missile, but I, do, I don't remember having a care package in between the two so I do remember putting care package on but I didn't end up getting one so that's pretty much the round I hope you guys learned something and uh, you know even with crappy classes I can still do work this was one of my bigger games I think I went like nine and two or something and uh, I made some key plays for the team picked off a couple rushers and uh, you know had some good tactics so hopefully you guys can apply these in your life your COD life anyway. And uh, I do have some new rendering settings, so please tell me if they look better or worse than before.